Okay. <laughs> oh, wow, what an experience. So you heard Craig, my husband's testimony. Um, so I'll tell you things from, from my perspective. So I never thought in a million years that I would find myself on the brink of divorce. Um, you know, Craig and I, we, you know, we were together for quite some time, you know, had our two lovely daughters over there and life was pretty much on autopilot, you know, we had some stressors here and there, but um, for the most part, you know, we felt like we were living the good life, you know, went to church every Sunday, did prayer time at night, and, and then suddenly I just noticed that we were arguing all the time. And, you know, couples argue, you're supposed to argue at times, right? But it started getting like ugly, like ugly, like all night, um, horrible, horrible. And, you know, I started having thoughts of, um, you know, I think we need to get a divorce. You know, I, I was just at that point where I just thought this is not healthy for us. It's not good for our kids to hear this all the time. I mean, suddenly I felt like we became that family that the neighborhood talks about, like, oh, they're always yelling and... Um, at one point, I actually gave him a black eye. I can honestly say that. I'm sorry about that. I didn't know that it, 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 that was not Craig. <laughs> but, um, you know, the wool was just pulled over our eyes. And I, just, I, I guess I just want to, you know, put it on your guys' hearts. If you know of anyone that has a bizarre story even close to ours, please show them this ministry. Because, I mean, we literally felt like we were going crazy. And I, I was so ashamed, I didn't want to tell anybody. Actually, I, I did go to our church at the time, and you know, I, I told them, you know, hey, you know, my, my husband sees things, he hears things, I and mean, he, did, he did his whole life. Um, you know, I was always drawn to the supernatural, you know, as a young child, and I didn't know why. I was raised Christian, but I always found myself just fascinated whenever I would hear about, you know, like, you know, ghosts, or now I know what they really are, but at the time, I didn't know. Um, I'm a scientist. I have a PhD in pharmaceutical sciences, so I always try to think of, you know, how can that be proven? And um, but I guess knowing about the supernatural always just fueled my faith because I'm like, there's something else going on that science cannot explain, mm -hmm. you know. And it always just, it, it was just so cool to me to figure that out or try to figure it out. So anyway, I felt like we were like a match made in heaven by God because. He would tell me these stories of how he saw things as a kid. At one point, he saw like a grim reaper figure in his bedroom, didn't know what it was. He wasn't raised Christian. There was a lot of generational curses that now we know about. Um, at the time, we didn't. But, um, but no, just eye-opening experience. And, you know, over the past year, we went through the hell that we went through, um, him dissociating um, and me not knowing what it was, you know. But now, after finding you guys, I feel like... Now we know the tactics that are used, not only against us, but against so many people. There's so many people that are in bondage and they don't even know it, mm -hmm. you know? And, and we, were, we were that, you know? We just thought, oh yeah, we're incompatible now, we're growing apart, but no. Um, you know, the enemy tried to split us up, our whole family. Um, and, and I will say that the deliverance training that we came to, that was perfect, perfectly put together by God, because I put those things into practice, <laughs> because I didn't know the war that we were in for, so, um, so I don't, it was you that mentioned that, you know, Craig was in bondage the first session, so eight weeks ago, oh yeah, um, my girls can attest to it, um, he was literally getting thrown against kitchen cabinets in our house, there were voices coming out of him, I, I knew what they were, finally I knew what it was, um, and I could speak out against it, um, you know, I, I had the tools to be able to handle that. The drive over here, I mean, he's getting thrashed around inside of our car. You know, my, my girls are trying to literally hold him down so he wouldn't hurt himself more. He's hitting himself, and it was unreal. It was like something out of a horror movie. Mm -hmm. I, I can honestly say that. Yeah. Um, but I was just so thankful to the staff that, A, you didn't think we were crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because at my church, they were like, oh, we'll pray for you. We'll pray for And I'm not saying prayer is not good. It's amazing. But we literally felt like we were nuts, you know? We're like, we can't tell people this, you know? And when we called you guys, they're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, we've seen that before, we've heard of so I'm like, really, you know, what? Yeah. But it was just so calming. I'm like, these people get it. And they were telling me that he was gonna get free and we were gonna get free, and, and we did. And I mean, looking at the way he is, when we started to now, and there's still more to be done, you know, it's, I think it's a constant process, and, and by the way, we're always going to be with you guys, so just, just get ready. Okay, we're not 
going anywhere. Yeah, we feel called to be a part of this. So, um, but in this process, I also found that I had some major junk in my trunk. Okay, I was always looking at him like, oh, there's always something wrong with him, right? Oh no, I had stuff. Spirit of anger, hello. Yeah, my my whole family, we were known as like the hot temper family, you know, and. Now I know what that is, you know, and um, so yeah, it's just been incredible. And you know, I had symptoms of OCD, perfectionism, controlling, um, you name it, just all kinds of garbage. And and I was just shocked that wow, you know, this stuff is coming off of me. You know, as I'm you know standing next to him, it's it's coming off of all four of us actually, because my girls have yeah. you know experienced bad stuff too. And um, it's just been. Incredible, to say the least. So just thank you for everything, and um, and thank you, Jesus. You know, I mean, he's, he's right. really building us That's that right. um, I, I will be forever grateful for. And our whole family life has changed. So, you know, like I told you, we would only pray at night. Well, now Craig and I pray together every morning, right? Mm -hmm. We pray together every morning. We've been doing that for a while, ever since we've been going through this war. Mm -hmm. um, so we have like a, you know, a habit that we do now. And then um, we do our deliverance in the morning. And um, we have like this routine we go through, you know, and it's, it's habit now. And when we don't do it, it it's kind of like our day kind of goes off the rails a little bit. So we just feel like God's constantly like, I want you closer to me. I want you closer. Get in my word. Do this. Do that. And and we're finally listening, you know. And it's it's just incredible. So so thank you. I went way over three minutes, but um, yes, thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Ooh, thank you. Yes. Thank, thank you, you so sweetie. much. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> thank you for everything. Mm -hmm. We're so proud of you. Oh, Look what you. God is doing. So let's yes. get the sword in your hand, and You're let right. me take these out of your hand. And, okay. All right. Okay. All right, everybody. This, this is our last testimony. Okay. <laughs> Everyone together, yell freedom and just own that also for yourself. That just hearing the testimonies, you are getting free because that's how amazing our God is. So one, two, three, freedom! freedom! Thank, you so much. Thank you. That's really cool. Thank you.